Hello everyone, welcome to another middle of the week. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a fabulous week here in September. My name is Michael Haffill. I'm the lead pastor at the Piedmont Park Seventh-day Adventist Church. And I've been going through some verses in the Bible. I started the year talking about some of my favorite verses. Now I switched over and I'm talking about some of the most challenging verses. I don't wanna say they're like my least favorite verses, but they're ones that really challenge me. I wrestle with them and, and maybe you do too. Uh, do you have verses that you struggle with? List them down below. Maybe I'll go over them. Uh, but this verse I wanted to share with you because here we are in September. It's going to ramp up even more when we get into October. Uh, but the election is coming here in America. And my goodness, things are getting politically charged like rarely have I ever seen in my life. And I thought this was uh, important to read and to remember in this time because so much rhetoric that seems so negative to whoever you you don't like um, and then of course the election will happen in november and half the people will be upset with whatever the decision is so i wanted you to hear this counsel from the bible uh, from the pen of paul it's from romans chapter 13. it says here let every soul be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from god and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Well, then do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For it is God's minister to you for good. For if you do evil, be afraid. For he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is God's minister, an avenger to execute wrath on him who practice evil. Well, there's a lot going on there. But it says to be subject to authorities. In other places in the Bible, it says to pray for your leaders. I don't hear a lot of that happening in our world right now. We tend to badmouth a leader if they're not the one that we wanted to win. Uh, I struggle with, with government and politics as well. But God says, hang on a minute through Paul. And again, Paul's writing during Roman times. He's writing when Nero was the emperor who eventually would persecute Christians. But Paul tells us all to be good law-abiding citizens in a society so that people around us can see us and say, wait, no, Christians are a, are a benefit to society. I don't think Paul was saying that we should never resist a corrupt government or a government that was doing something wrong. We should speak up. We should have a voice. But he counsels us, the Bible counsels us to pray for our leaders. The Bible counsels us to be good citizens. And so friends, as we get ready and going into this politically charged time, at least here in the United States, let's remember our speech. Let's remember the things that we post or we share on social media. And let's remember God's counsel in this. We're supposed to be good citizens. We're supposed to pray for our leaders, even if it's not the one we would have chosen. Because again, we're not ultimately in control of all this. But God will see us through no matter who gets elected there in November. He will guide us and he will help us. Because in the end, we're all citizens of the kingdom of heaven first and foremost. Not of a country here on this planet. But we should do our best of the countries that we're in. To be good citizens, to be law-abiding, and to be speaking good into a world that has so much evil being said. So friends, I just wanted to encourage you, wanted to challenge you with those verses like they challenged me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I hope you'll join us for worship this coming Saturday here at Piedmont Park. It's Pathfinder World Day for the North American Division of Seventh-day Adventists, and so we're going to be uh, having our Pathfinders take front and center. It's going to be a great worship service at 11 o'clock. Our Bible study time is at 930, and we'd love to have you join us. That Bible study time is for all ages from zero all the way up. So we hope that you'll come and join us here in person at Piedmont Park or here online as well. Take care, everyone, and let's take care of everyone.